They want us to graph f of x and then also graph its inverse and tell if the inverse is a function. So let's first graph f of x. Well, the first thing we're going to have to do is take a look at the base graph, which is going to be x cubed. x cubed looks like this. x cubed goes through 1, 1, and negative 1, 1, and 0, 0, and, and 2, 8, Let's see, two, yeah, two eight. So it's up here somewhere. So this is what the this is what the basic graph looks like. I didn't do that very well right there. Let's try that again. That's your basic graph of x squared or x cubed. Well, here's how I transform it. First, I'm going to do the negative. So let's do this in a little less. The negative is going to flip it over the x-axis. So this thing is going to flip like this. So that's your new graph. I'll, in fact, I'll erase the old one as I graph the new one so that we're not being confused. So that's, that's this graph right here. And now if I add 1 to it, I'll do this with a different color. If I add 1 to it, it moves every one of these points up 1. So that point's there, that point's there. That, so it's going to be kind of like a parallel graph. Wait, why did you do that? because I moved every point oh, up one. one. Okay. I added one to it. So there's my graph. There's my graph of, of f of x right there. All right, now the question they asked is, graph the inverse. So that's part one, first graph that. Now they want us to graph the inverse. Well, let me show you how I do this. I take, the, I take the line y equals x. That's what that line is right there, y equals x. And every single point on this line on, on the line of your original graph right here, if I, if I reflect it over this yellow line, I'll get the inverse graph. So let's do that. This point 1, 1 is going to still be there, right? 1, 1 is still going to be on the graph. The point um, negative, let's see, the, the point 0, 1, 0, 1 on that graph, we'll do the inverse. You know, let's just name a couple points. 0, 1's on the graph. 2, uh, let's see, 2, actually it's going to be down quite a bit further, point 2 is going to be 2 squared, it's going to be negative 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right here, 2, negative 7, that point's going to be on the graph, etc. So 2, negative 7 is going to be on the graph, uh, negative 1, uh, negative 1, positive 2 is going to be on the graph. So those are all points that are on my graph of f of x. Well, now let's do g of x in purple. g of x, every one of these points, I flip the x and the y. Remember, to find an inverse, you flip the x and y values. So if I flip the x and y in 1, 1, I still get 1, 1. See, it's on the yellow line. If I flip the values of, of 0, comma 1, it's going to be 1, comma 0. So, um, one. Sorry, I, I made a mis I made a mistake here. This point isn't. I knew something didn't look right. That point right there is one zero. That point is one zero, not zero one. It does that. It does that right there. All right. So now we can do this this point right here is 1 comma 0. All right, so when we want to graph the inverse, what we're going to do in purple is we're going to flip these. So 0, 1 becomes 1, 0. So 1, 0 is on that purple graph. 1, 0 becomes 0, 1. It's on that graph. Negative 1, 2 becomes 2, negative 1. So 2, negative 1 is on this graph and 2, negative 7 becomes negative 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 7, 2. And so hopefully that can give you an idea of what the graph looks like. Here's your graph. It's going to go this way. There's the graph of your inverse function right there. And notice I did say function because you'll see that that purple graph is a function as well. So that works. Them, you could... no. So let's, let's analyze this graph again. Look at what I did. I took a couple choice points. 2, negative 7. 
on, on the original graph on f of x, flip those and it's negative 7, 2, and you can see what happens. This? This is your graph. Let's look at it this way, too. But isn't that a squared, a uh, square rooted? Nope. It looks like a square root equation, but it's actually a cube. See how it goes both directions? A square root would only go one direction. No, it's not, half not, a no, problem. That. What's the other one? It's, um, there's, there's one that looks like that, and then there's one that looks like that. What is that? That's what the, this is a third root equation. That's what this is. It's a third, third root, root equation because the third root... A cubed root. A, cu a cubed root is the inverse of a cubed, just like a square root is the inverse of a square. I'll post another video later but to show you to give you more examples but look at what happens see how these points right here are are symmetric to each other over this line they're they're I flipped this uh, greenish line over the yellow line y equals x and I got the purple line and that's how you do that okay. I'll do I'll, I'll post some more videos later but that's how you do that